what we strive for excellence and become better at what we do. Let's take a stand, make a difference. Don't be afraid or feel ashamed. Cause being cool just says the same. Continue doing you and remain to keep it up. Keep it up. If you working hard, keep it up. Keep it up if you're doing your job, keep it up. Keep it up, don't let your head down. When that time comes around, hold your ground, stick it out and first keep stop. It up. Starting. All right, Mister. Please introduce yourself. Full name. Well, my full name is Tyrell Javon Gallup. No. I go by Kid Biscuit. Stage name. I'm 21 years old. Senior year at Chuan University. Music industry major. And uh, I rap. I write. I play the piano. I love music. And that's my life, basically. Music. Okay. All right, well, since I am your interview, I'm today Scott, and I'm a freshman, and I'm a psychology major. Yay! Nice to meet you, Sadia. Nice to meet you, All Biscuit. Right. Yeah. First question is, where are you from? I'm uh, originally from Elizabeth City, North Carolina, born 1992, and uh, I reside here in Murfreesboro for the time being, but my home is Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Okay. Um, what possessed you to come to Chuan? Since it's like such a small school, it's somewhat harder to network rather than being at a larger school. Right. Well, it was kind of an opportunity because I didn't know what school I was going to because the schools I applied for never got back to me in time and Chuan found me off basically academics more than anything. I didn't come in for sports or anything, just academics. Um, when did it occur to you that you wanted to do music? Like music was your passion, music was what was calling you. Like when did that when did that happen? I say around the age I say ten. Maybe I can go even like seven. Seven to ten. See my brother played drums when we were little and I always wanted to play the drums but I was like, I wanna do something else. He played the drums. So I learned how to play the piano time to time again. You know, I was born and raised up in the church. So that's what we would do at home. I played the piano, he played the drums. That's fine. And then in ninth grade, in high school, is really when I really tackled, like, you know, music is my passion. Because I was in band, a drumline captain. And once I learned how to play the piano, like, to a good extent, that's when I was like, I want to do music. Gotcha. That's dope. That's dope. All right. Um, next question is, how long? Well, let me ask you this. How many albums or mixtapes have you come out with? Well, solo projects, two. I released my first mixtape, it's called Womp. It's where opportunities motivate possibility. That was released, was it 2012 <laughs> in November. That was my first official mixtape. Like, it was a good experience too. And then the second one, Good Vibes, which just dropped March 18, 2014. And that one is doing very well, still up and running, as far as views and listens to. So I guess like you already answered it, but like how long is the process of making a mixtape? Well, it depends on what type of artist you are. If you really want to take time with your craft, it sometimes take like years. It took me two years to come back with another mixtape, and like I started working on the mixtape last summer in July when I was working at Pepsi. When I realized I was writing another mixtape in my head, that's when I was like, all right, it's time to start. So that's how it came about. So like music, rather than you going to music, music sort of comes to you. Yeah, that's like, how I like to, that's how I like to go about making any, any of my songs, little beats. Okay. Um, well, you already answered that question. <laughs> uh, who, is, who is your support system? I know a lot of young artists, they have trouble with finding those who are really behind their, their motives, like behind their dream. Because a lot of people would doubt, but so, what was your, like, your support system? My support system, like, day in and day out is my mother. Like, I know a lot of people like, yeah, my mom support me, yeah, my father. But my mother is like my mother and father. Like, she supports me a hundred, more than I support myself. <laughs> because when I'm not able to push my product, as far as, like, my CDs, my shirts, my music, my mama is making moves for me. And I don't even know it half the time. So I say my mother is really my main support in general. Um, how do you how do you find yourself like while you're in school? I'm not sure if the Daniel Hall that's a music major. Yeah, okay. that's it. Well, I'm not sure if Daniel Hall has a studio system. So where do you go 
to record your, your music. Okay, see last year, Daniel Hall had a studio that I was introduced for, introduced to like two years after I was here, which I was upset about because they didn't let me in there because I wasn't ready for, I guess, to be in there. I don't know, whatever. But they do have a studio in there, but it's like limited. So it's like once they try to like not let me in there, I was like, you know what? I'm investing in getting my own equipment, which I'm still doing. So my friend Tremaine Hextall, shout out to T-Main, man. Uh, he let me borrow his mic and um, I brought it to school. And I was like, well, Biscuit, now you got to start recording the mixtape. So my friend Kawan, shout out to Kawan too. He lets me borrow his Mac, as far as he got Pro Tools, Reads, and all the recording software that I need that I don't have. And he lets me record. And that's where the mixtape really got recorded at in my room the, for like six months. Like I was strictly recording in the room. So you was like, you you do have some like a, a, a large support system. Like not only your mother, but you have I have close and <laughs> Yeah, Tremaine, Tremaine, Big Twan, Nick, I can go on, Marcus, Jordan, my brothers, like Aaron, he's in Hawaii, like I got close selective Jordan, I got you know, a selective few that I, are really here at home with me, so they support me in what I do, and I really appreciate that. So, so good vibes, where did, where did that idea come from? Because whenever I hear good vibes, I think of I was waiting for that good question. <laughs> I don't know if that's appropriate or not, but you know, okay. I, where, where, did that, where did that come from? I, good vibes, this came last summer. Mm -hmm. I was working at Pepsi and um, a lot of my ideas come from Pepsi, little do people know. Like, that's just my foundation of writing my music in my head. So I would get off work on the weekends, you know, nothing else to do. I work Monday through Friday and I chill with my boy Nick. And we go to his house and we just chill, you know, play the game, do whatever. And I was just in my head like, man, this is like some good vibes. And then I would go chill with my boy Twan. We go to Virginia, chill in his apartment on a balcony. It's good vibes. And then I get to school and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna name that mixtape Good Vibes because that's what I surround myself by. Because when you surround yourself by positive things, positive things happen. So I'm considering that Good Vibes. And um, that's mainly where Good Vibes came from. Just hanging around my friends and knowing that we having a good time. There's no negativity around me at any time. If it is, I notice it and I avoid it at all times. <laughs> it's really influential. Like a lot of people might want to take that tip. Yeah. <laughs> Run with it. Once you separate yourself, isolate yourself from people who really don't have motives mm -hmm. and who really aren't like on the same path you are, you realize like it's not what you need. So once you spend time alone, you see like where you need to go and where you're headed. And that's what I did. And I mean, I'm headed where I want to. And that's good. Nice. Good vibes. Felt that. Ah. <laughs> Throw it in there. All right, well, if you don't mind, you can show off your, your shirt to the Oh, yeah. Kids. By the way, this is uh, the product, Good Vibes. You know, this is the business right here, Mad Incorporated, making a difference for the kids. And um, this is just a promotional shirt for the mixtape. This summer, I'll be releasing my summer edition as far as different colors, tank tops and my kid limited edition as well so y'all be on the lookout for that the website is in the making i'm sorry it's more of an in-person type deal but it's on the way people it's on the way <laughs> bear with me i'm just beginning <laughs> well thank you kid biscuit aka tyrell and i think um thank you too much. well i thank you sadea <laughs> shout out to my fans i love y'all y'all look for my performance april 21st here at Chihuahua University, 4 o'clock, be there, it's National Good Vibes, and that's the kid. Yeah, brother!